Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about my hair transformation. I just recently, a few days ago, decided randomly to go back to brunette. I have been blonde for the past year or so. I think it was like four ish years ago when I had this similar style hair. I have like nostalgic feels right now because I also reset up my room to the way it used to be a few years ago. It just really makes me feel good and it makes me inspired again to film because during that time period um, I was really happy and I was pumping out videos just that mentality like that state of mind that I was in I want to go back to that so that's kind of why I was like alright let's do fresh start fresh well not really fresh hair but let's go back to the hair that I really loved let's go back to the same background I used to have let's like just go back and I gotta say I feel so much better it's almost like as if the blonde hair was not me watch me go back to blonde again in the future but it just didn't quite fit me the way that dark hair does there's just something about dark hair that feels so right. Once I figured out exactly what I wanted, I was like, all right, let's do this. So we are low lighting Kaylee's hair, and I'm actually using two different low light formulas. I'm doing one formula for like closer to her root area, and then another formula for the ends, because we want to have like a beautiful gradation of color, kind of growing seamlessly out of her hair. And that's why I like to also layer the foils on top. So I'm just gonna do that all throughout and then any like little blonde pieces that are left out will turn them a little bit darker. Okay so before I move forward I want to talk about St. Tropica. This is the second round of 60 days of me taking the vitamins. It's a hair challenge. It's called the St. Tropica Hair Vitamin Challenge and you guys can take it too. I am going to have the link down below. If you guys happen to be interested, you can just click right on it and it'll take you to the vitamins that I took for the past 60 days. But also I'm gonna put a link down there for the mask that I have been using for the past 60 days as well. I've been doing it once a week. So the very last time I went to my hair appointment, I had two inches cut cut off basically dead split ends. So this next hair appointment you guys can see that it has grown back those two inches but now my ends look so much better so I did not even trim it. I didn't cut it at all. Like I said it's only been 60 days and this is the growth that I got two full inches which is amazing. Natural hair growth basically it's only half an inch a month so I should have only gotten one inch of hair growth naturally, but because I was taking the vitamins, I got two inches of hair growth, so I doubled it. My hair just feels a lot healthier and stronger than it ever did before last year, before I even started taking these vitamins. I mean, I can just, I know I dyed it back to brunette, and so yeah, it's gonna look really healthy and shiny just because of that, because this is my natural hair color up here, but honestly, <laughs> Those vitamins really work. You'll notice it within the first, I'd say two, basically within the first month, but definitely like the first two weeks, you'll you'll be blow drying out your hair or just letting it air dry, whatever you like to do, and you will notice and you'll be like, wow, tons of vitamins, especially, of course, biotin. B1, B2, B3, B5, B9, B6, D3, C, zinc. Lots of good stuff in here. It is 100% certified vegan and cruelty free. So if you guys would like to take the challenge too and get longer, stronger, healthier hair like I did, then just click the link in the description box. Okay, so back to my hair appointment. I'm gonna just take you through the entire process from start to finish, brassy blonde <laughs> to healthy, shiny, brunette balayage hair for fall. So if you guys wanna see what happened, keep on watching.
like shrink yourself a little bit. Yeah, like, like here. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, perfect. Wait, is this recording? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is. Okay, so this oh, is the second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thumbnail. Just cut off. And this is the oh, coppery yeah. color. Yeah, color. And it was. Yep. So because I already yeah. have a little bit of lightness Marilla still left in there, it'll like cling onto that. Cling onto that. Because you kind of already balayage me before, yeah, right? No need to do it again. Just to That's what I was so confused about mm -hmm. on the way here. Oh I'm my like, gosh. I truly have no idea what you're going to do. <laughs> I'm like, is she going to completely make it all dark again and, and then, then re balayage oh, it? I'm like, I don't. Yeah. But actually, this is good because it's better for my hair. It's so much better for your hair. So we'll just take off the very little bit. I did see that you were what? gonna be wearing your hair more natural. Oh yes. Have you been? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. For the past like two months. That's awesome. I want to straighten it for today for so sure. it would be yeah. a yeah. you know that's good awesome. length. Awesome. But yeah, that's why yeah. I wanted it to go darker yeah. too because I felt like it would look yeah. better. Yeah. So when I did my hair curly when it was more blonde, people were saying it looked gray because the money piece was so bright and like in your face. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, you look like you have grays. I'm like, no, it's just a money piece. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, don't you dare say right, that. Right. Yeah. 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 But I think this will look better with the curls. Yeah, I do. Too. I think the only way that the blonde would look good is if I had blonde, like, all over. You know what I mean? Not just in the front. Yeah, red is one of those colors. It's the hardest color to, like, keep in your hair, like, vibrant. But it's the hardest color to get out of the Yeah, because the dark they weren't highlighted. The dye molecule is different so than brown or blonde. I was gonna ask you what if I had wanted to like go copper like all and over one day. Have, yeah. Like what seen, do you do? Would you have to do the, the whole thing blonde first um, and then go in? Like, like, hair less Yeah, we would definitely blonde. have to but, um, do like a. I mean, I guess uh, like if you wanted to go like this copper. Yeah, we would have to like bleach your whole head out pretty much. So what would the other option be? Darker red. It would be easier? It would be easier. Okay. I was pinning like redheads and like coppers and I'm like, damn, that looks good. Like oh I wish gosh. I was born like that. Because I feel like when you have green eyes or hazel eyes, it looks so beautiful yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. And then like yellowy skin. I was like, yeah. man, that looks good. Yeah. But I was born that way. Mm -mm. Okay. But I'm like, maybe Catherine can make it look like I was going that way. <laughs> but I won't bring that to her this time. Yeah, maybe, maybe next yeah. time. Maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe steps. I'm like, yeah. I'll introduce her slowly yeah. to the idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A different view.
that is it guys. This is what my hair looks like now. I love it. I think Catherine did an amazing job. If you guys would like to check her out and see her work, what else she does, if you happen to live in the area, then you can definitely contact her and I will put her information down below, like her phone number, her email, her, um, the, her Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, all that stuff, but she did a great job and well, I mean she always does a good job I've been going to her for many many years because she always gives me exactly what I want I will tell her what I have in mind and she just like somehow transforms my hair into exactly what I want every single time She's just like so incredibly talented. Also, I do want to say one more thing before I go I am so sorry guys that I did not upload any Halloween videos this year. This is like the first year I didn't upload any in like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like ever since I started this channel, I've always uploaded Halloween tutorials. So it was really weird for me to not upload any, but the reason why is because I had ideas that I thought were good. I ordered stuff and then the, the stuff came in. I started filming everything and literally hated every single look that I was working on. Like, it just wasn't up to par with what I've done in the past. It wasn't good enough in my eyes. And I am not going to upload something that I am not proud of, that I don't feel good about. So I decided, well, actually, a lot of them, a lot of the looks were not even finished. It just was, like, not working out for me. <laughs> and um, after that, I just felt really uninspired and really down on myself because I feel like I failed you guys because I didn't upload anything at all except the try on haul but it just wasn't working out for me guys I'm sorry um I moving forward I will say that I'm gonna try and prevent that from happening again next year and instead like start filming a month before October I think also because I was rushing I felt really really stressed doing everything the actual month of October when what I really should be doing is working on it the month before so that way if I run into any problems or I decide to change ideas it's easy to do so so that's what I'm gonna do in the future but I just wanted to say I am so sorry guys but on a happier note I am going to be vlogging for vlogmas that is something I I'm really really looking forward to and have already made a list of things that are gonna happen for every single day of December. Other than that, I uh, basically just took a break all of October and for the first time ever just kind of enjoyed it after all that stress um, was over with and I decided to just just give up on the Halloween looks. I'm just gonna move on with my life and just enjoy the month and that's what I did and then we went on uh, a vacation to Shenandoah Mountains. I went with Matt, Coda, and his dad and two little brothers and Justin's girlfriend and it was really fun. We're obviously going to celebrate Halloween but I'm not even going to dress up this year. I'm just, I'm just, Halloween is out the door for me. <laughs> it just like, it just left a bad taste in my mouth this year and so I'm really just looking forward to next year so I can redeem myself but yeah I took the month to recharge redo the hair figure out my life so I think we're good now hopefully we'll see <laughs> I wanted to say thank you for everyone who's been supporting me from the very start and also recently I noticed a lot of my older Halloween tutorials that I love so much and I'm so incredibly proud of have gotten a lot of views recently which is awesome because I haven't even been promoting them or anything I guess YouTube's kind of like pushing those videos right now which is amazing so a lot of you are getting inspired from my looks last year or the year before that which are like my favorites and um, yeah thank you so much for all of the nice comments on those and for sending me pictures of your looks like you guys are killing it are you freaking kidding me like the poison ivy look a lot of you recreate and send me pictures of and you guys look so freaking cool like and it makes me feel so awesome that you were inspired by my look like what you guys are so talented but anyway <laughs> thank you so much for the support i love you guys so much and i can't wait to create more videos so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one and let me know what you guys would like to see next and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!